Okay, so he's just very energetic this morning. <laughs> yeah, so we are up, dressed, and about to go down and get breakfast. It's half past nine. Please um, don't put that in. We are getting the bus to Hanoi tonight, like half four, which is a 12 hour bus ride. So, before that, we're going to try and explore a bit more of Huai. Try not to get too hot and sweaty because we don't want to be all stinking for when we get on the bus later. Anything that you do on there, I am going to the vlog, so start dancing, <laughs> going on the vlog. Time to check out, guys. Uh, so we're just checking out the hostel here in Huey. Um, we've had an awesome time. Yeah, the owners, just there, they're awesome. So we're all checked out the hostel now. Uh, we told them we had a bus later and they were nice enough to say that we can go back and have a shower before we go and get all freshened up and they'll even provide us the towels as well. So we are on our way to the Imperial City. I kept calling it the old city in the last vlog, but it's yeah. not. It's the Imperial City, which used to be the Imperial capital of Vietnam. Yeah, it did actually. Uh, and it's back, got a big wall all the way around it. So like back in uh, yeah, back in days of old. Uh, so we're just on our way now, on the way there now. It's about a 20 minute walk and it's actually not too hot today. It's quite nice. Well, we say that now, but as we get walking, we're gonna probably get really hot. Yeah. It's really humid. towards the Thong Tu Gate. Inside the Imperial City walls. The walls are back there. I don't know if you can see those over there. But yeah, the whole city is walled in. It's kind of cool. Stop any invaders. Day four of looking for the center of the Imperial City. We found it. We have been trekking for a ruined it. I'm sorry. Oh, women, eh? So yeah, just uh, punched myself in the face there. Survived, it's all okay. Yeah, we're still on the lookout, but we think we've found our route. Made it to the gate Ooh. of the Imperial City. You have to buy. You have to buy a ticket. So he has right there. One hundred and fifty thousand. As I said, I think that's about seven U.S. dollars. And uh, yeah, is a big grand entrance to get in. Let's see what mysteries these walls enclose. Uh, what would be good is if we had like the audible tours here, because when we were in Cambodia, we went to the killing fields, which were incredible. But we had. Um, audio tour telling us all about the different sites it would go to and a map so that'd be really good if we had one here wouldn't it yeah also 
Uh, just so you're aware, if as you're walking around trying to find this place, you'll often get a lot of the little uh, bicycle taxis or tour guides or whatever telling you that it's closed and that it doesn't open for another 45 minutes and they'll give you a tour of the surrounding area before coming in here. Yeah, that isn't true. They are literally just saying that so that you say, oh yeah, all right, I'll get a tour before we get to go in. Um, and they're just trying to get money off you. So unless you actually want a tour, don't let them scam you. So we've just been learning a little bit about the Imperial City, the Citadel, as they call it. Yeah. Um, and it was used in the last dynasty for the emperor, the last emperor of Vietnam, um, the Nguyen, Nguyen, Nguyen dynasty. Yeah. Um, and was last used in like 1926. 25. 25. I think it actually began in the 1800s and. I think it ran all the way to 1945. Yeah, and the last emperor to rule finished in 1925. Yeah, and this actually is a UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, because of the significance it has to, to Vietnam. And within the, the imperial city or the citadel, you then have another walled in area where all the, the political uh, activities used to take place, which is surrounded by another wall. Uh, and then again, with inside that, you have the forbidden purple city. Yeah. Uh, which was the uh, the emperor's own, uh, own living quarters. So I think this dragon. Pointing at it? Yes. Here. Um, was put here along with some others that we haven't found yet um, to like protect the city and guard it. James is having so much fun here. So we've now left the hostel, bags are on our back again, and off to the office so we can get the bus in like 20 minutes. Um, yeah, the hostel was nice enough to let us have a shower and get changed, so we're nice and fresh for the bus. By the time we get to the office, we'll probably be drenched in sweat again, so that probably won't make a difference, but it was a nice gesture. So this is the life of a traveler, sitting around with your bags, Right there, sweaty, waiting, waiting for buses, <laughs> all the time. Waiting, waiting, waiting. What are we doing? Waiting. What are we doing? Waiting. And still waiting. So an hour and 15 minutes after we were meant to leave, we've actually left. We've just started to leave Hue to go to Hanoi. <laughs> we're in a bus that smells of cigarette smoke. Six Things don't work properly. Nice enough. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you've got to make the best of a bad situation. So we've just arrived in Hanoi. It's about 5.30 in the morning and we have absolutely no idea where we are. Both our phones have died. So we've got to wait for Zoe's phone to charge using the, the little portable charger. 
so we can get the address of the hotel so we can get a taxi. Um, so we're just kind of standing around, wandering the streets until then. So although we have no signal, I think we managed to figure out the way on Zoe's phone now. It's got a little bit of charge. It's on like 6%. 6% battery to get us there. We are, we are on a mission that away. And it's now, well, it's only like 20 to 6 still, so. It's 20 to 6. So hopefully we reckon it'll take about 10 minutes to get there. And then, fingers crossed, they'll let us check in early so we can actually get some sleep. So after 45 minutes of a very sweaty walk, we have made it to the hostel. Mm -hmm. For some reason, Google Maps and uh, Apple Maps still work on our phone when we have no uh, data, no signal or nothing. We still want to get in. So it was quite nice. A little homestay. Uh, yeah, got here at sundown, and so we got into Hanoi at sundown. The last time we get to the hostel. Nice and hot outside, but we're here. We had to pay an extra six dollars. <coughs> excuse me, to allow for them allow to allow us to get in the room early. Otherwise, we would have had to uh, sit downstairs in reception for another six seven hours. So that's a bit of a Bummer. Thing is, everywhere, everywhere else is usually lets you check in, but oh well, we're here. We're in the room. It's uh, small but cosy, as I would advertise it if it was a house. So we jump straight in the shower. We're gonna have a shower, have a nap, and then uh, see what Hanoi has to offer.